A Massachusetts woman screaming her head off as people in stitches. ABC or CNN's Jeannie Most reports it's all because of a chipmunk. A chipmunk, a dog, and a screamer combined to make a video go viral. I know I'm loud. I know I'm obnoxious, and but it, I'm really embarrassed because my neighbors almost called the cops. They thought there was a murder being committed. But it was a rescue being committed when a chipmunk got trapped between the screen and the glass at Ashley Karen's Massachusetts home. Listen, let's make a deal, baby. I'm going to safely get you out. I'm going to open this and you just scurry right out there back to your happy, whimsical life. Negotiating with a chipmunk earned Ashley the whimsical nickname Chipmunk Whisperer. She warned her kids in the other room. Okay, just stay in there. Okay, if I scream, everything is fine. <laughs> oh, he's just coming down with it. Oh, maybe that's better. Oh, no. Okay, okay. You were right the first time. No, that way. No, no. Ashley was screaming bloody murder, but the chipmunk lived. It turns out Ashley's Alaskan Malamute named Boss carried the chipmunk to the balcony as Ashley kept yelling, drop it. I think he put two and two together with my screams <laughs> and was like, maybe I should just let this little guy go. <laughs> Aside from the screaming, everyone's favorite part was this line. Okay, if I scream, everything is fine. Somebody said, I want that as a shirt. <laughs> Are you going to do it? I did my. I'm but in the end, she did scream, and it was okay. <laughs> Though maybe not music to the ears of this chipmunk. No! Genie Mouse, CNN, New York. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if I scream, everything is fine. She can make a lot of money off some t shirts for that. She on. really could. I mean, All she right. should capitalize while she can. We're screaming for joy. Oh, Jen and Fiona, Jen and Fiona are, are here. together. Look at that. <laughs> it's a happy Monday, right? <laughs> Fun packed show, too. Yes, and you know what? We're helping you beat the heat today with some great summer food. And we're starting with some barbecue. Yes, Chef Wathi, co-owner of Rock Quarry Barbecue, is here. And you're going to show us what makes your barbecue stand out. There's a reason. I know Fiona had line ready, right? That's right. OK, uh, go ahead and show them some leg. <laughs> I'm going to show you, you some legs. what they want. If you buy a turkey leg from Rock Quarry Barbecue and it doesn't do this, it's yours for free. Okay. Look right. how much that just fell right off the bone. We're going to show you what, to, what we're going to do with that. Mm -hmm. Also, it's a money-saving Monday. Oh, yes, it is. And this week, it's all about the fun things you can do around town for free. We're talking like seeing free movies, mm. and we'll fill you in on some more family yes, fun you can have. Geez, that won't cost you a thing. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yes, and also to cool off in the summer, what's better than some delicious lemonade? Desiree is here, and you have... Hey guys. I have two of our drinks here. I have a passion fruit and I have a strawberries and cream here. And I'm just going to show you how to take out your cocktail skills here. And it's all on the wrist from here. Shake it, shake it, shake it, all baby. Wrist. Oh, yes. All right. She's going to show off some more of those refreshing made to order drinks. Yeah. All right. So, record breaking heat, you know, possible again today. It's hot out there, folks. We know that. Yeah. So, cold treats are one way to cool down. Yes. Yeah, so, snow cone mm -hmm. or ice cream? We want to know. What's your go to? Let us like know both. at SA Live Case. <laughs> on Facebook and Twitter. All right. Okay, we're up to 99 now, 107 this afternoon at 20%. Any of these uh, downpours affect you. Keep that KSAT weather app handy. We'll let you know. Of course, the big story next few days will be the heat. Won't let up. Fiona have this thing all covered today, so it's Monday and no better way to start. Today on 
SA Live. It's a money saving Monday. We're going to tell you how you can catch some free. They're walking by, like, what's going on out there, right? Somebody Why tried are to they letting those things <laughs> sit in the sun? Yes. Yes. So we want to know what is your go to? Is it the snow cone mm -hmm. uh, or is it the ice cream cone? cone? What do you like, Fiona? Ice cream cone. Yeah. And I'll eat it fast. <laughs> I like both. You know, put the ice cream in the raspa there and enjoy. Yes, let us know on our pages, our Facebook and Twitter. We may share your answers a little later in the show. All right. Well, a local family's love for barbecue ignited a brand new business. And guess what? One taste and you're going to be hooked. Ooh, I'm excited. Chef Watt, the co-owner of Rock Quarry Barbecue, is here to show us some fun ways to make and eat and enjoy your barbecue. Welcome. That's yes. right. How y'all doing? All right. Well, I mean, we love you because you have brought a <laughs> great food for us today, right? Yes. Delicious food. What'd you bring? I brought you ribs, brisket, chicken and sausage, and turkey legs for our loaded nachos. It's the way to our heart. <laughs> Good. We're very excited, and it smells amazing. If only it was smell vision, right? <laughs> so we're going to start with the loaded baked potato. Yes. So tell me what to do. So I'll what you're going to your do is you're going to make an incision here across okay, the potato. Okay. Now we're going to kind of widen it out, smash it through. Oh, there we go. Yeah. You're going to take this instrument and you're going to kind of carve into it. How heavy is that potato? It's that looks, that's a good question. Like, that's I, nice, I, I didn't weigh it, but it's a, a, nice, it's a decent sized, sized potato. Big potato. Yes, right. it is. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some butter. Okay, butter. Okay, you always have to have your butter. Do you have a favorite topping on your loaded? Probably the brisket. <laughs> uh, it's the go-to. The brisket is really good. After the butter? After the butter, you're going to add some queso. Yes, Fiona, please. That was my one job. Hold on. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, right there. That's better great. With queso, right? Everything's mm -hmm. better with queso. Okay. Now we're going to add some bacon bits. All right. My hands are clean, y'all. I will be eating this. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to add the brisket. That's a quarter pound of brisket. All of it? All of it. That's good. What's, is there's no easy way to do Here this. You. Right? There's no easy way to do it. Here we go. Now, is this yeah. one of the top sellers? Thanks, yes. Fiona. You're welcome. Got the gloves. You're welcome. Here, hold on. We're going we're gonna to tuck this in yes. for the night. Okay, here we go. There we oh, go. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I know. Our mamas are in charge. There you go. All right. Nice and packed. Yes. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we are going to add oh, the pico so de gallo. Pico de gallo? Pico de gallo. All of it? Yeah. You can add about half of that. Oh, sorry. All right. Mm -hmm. We're not holding back here. No, no we're, we're not. not supposed to. There you go. Okay. Now you're going to add some French onion. Still going. Okay. Oh, it's loaded. Yes. Oh, wow. We should have. Yeah. Kidding. Now you're going to add your sour more. cream. Sour cream. Oh, and you're going to come across in, <laughs> in lines. We had a little incident <laughs> earlier. See? Just like that. Okay. And that is Rock Quarry's loaded baked potato. Oh, look at that. Right. That is no joke. I'm going to dig it's it. It's loaded. But that's got to be pretty popular. Is that it, one of the it, more popular it, it things? It is one of our more popular things. Okay. That's amazing. Now, Fiona, mm -hmm. I'm excited to see what you're going to build. Yes. All right. So, that's, what's another way? to enjoy your barbecue. Another way to enjoy our barbecue is with the loaded nachos. Mm -hmm. uh, today's loaded nachos are going to be uh, turkey leg loaded nacho. Okay. So again, we're going to start with the queso. Okay. So I'm going to put it right here on the nachos. You're going to put it right over the nachos. Okay. Okay. Get, I should be helping you. Sorry, get you a, ni a nice good okay. spread. <laughs> Here we go. So that's Make one. Sure we, you said about two, right? Yes, about two. All right. We, we don't we like dry chips. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm just going to go with a little there you go. more. You know, because yes. this is what we train for. Okay, okay so now we're going to add the turkey. Now add That's the, the turkey, turkey leg that we just pulled. Okay. And so you can top the lo uh, loaded nachos with what besides turkey? Uh, brisket, mm -hmm. sausage, ribs, mm -hmm. pulled pork, mm -hmm. or chicken. Okay. Uh, the choice is yours. I don't think I've ever tried nachos with the turkey leg meat. It's something How'd special. How did you come up with these ideas? Oh, we like to eat, and uh, we've been cooking for many years, so we just sit back at home and think of ways we can make food better. You're fitting right in here. <laughs> okay. You're the best buddy here. Right, okay, now. so now we're going to add the pico de gallo. Okay. It's right on top. There we go. And you're located at the market there also at Bandera, correct? Bandera yes. Point, is that right? Bandera. Mm -hmm. We're right outside of 1604 in the Santicos parking lot. Um, we're there as well. Okay, and then I'm going to top it off with... Uh oh. That's a, it's all right. <laughs> well, there's always a chance mm -hmm. for that to happen. There and go. there we go. Yes. And that is Rock Quarry's Barbecue's uh, loaded nachos. Look okay, at that, that right there. That's amazing. Yes. I'm going to move this over here. Okay. 
And then uh, now on to the sandwich. signature mm -hmm. sandwich. We can't say the name, but I will say if you go look on the menu, you'll know the name because it'll pop right out at you and we're That's gonna let right. you do that. So we're gonna call it that sandwich today. And if you want this sandwich, all you gotta do is come and see it. Uh oh, this ain't working. <laughs> Well, it's taking a cue from the sour yeah, yeah. It is. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to yes. improvise. Yes. Okay. There we go. This is a homemade barbecue. Yes, this is a homemade like barbecue it. sauce. It is a Dr Pepper barbecue sauce. Ooh. Pretty. Yeah, my attention. Yeah. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a link of sausage. And so what makes this sandwich amazing? You're gonna see in a okay. second. <laughs> because um, you have so, to be a Dr Pepper yeah. sauce. So it <laughs> takes a um, a full link of sausage. Uh huh. Six ounces, a uh, quarter, I mean, I'm sorry, a quarter pound of brisket. Just gonna go there. Yes, do it. Yes. <laughs> yes. It is going to take no. six ounces Four? of yeah. jalapeno okay. mac and cheese. How does one even start to eat that? Well, that's why what it's got do? that special name. <laughs> you have to go visit them to find out. And if you want to find out the name, you gotta come yes. see us. Yes. So then it takes pickles and onions as well. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Which we have here. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's topped off, excuse me, with oh. pico de gallo. Of course. Yum. It's like a tower. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. There's going to be no graceful way to, to eat that. You just got. And this sandwich is my signature sandwich. My wife is the one that actually came up with this. She did. Yes. Oh, and uh, nice. I told her I was hungry. She made me a sandwich. This is a sandwich. <laughs> they went on the menu the next day. They went on the menu the next day. I love oh, it. Yes. <laughs> That's how you get the best recipes, And that's right, how we sometimes? get the best recipes, oh, right. yes. I couldn't, I, and I couldn't do this without her, so, yeah. you know, yeah. this is so what we're at. So obviously your family enjoys this. It's a passion, Yes, right, it's what we business. do. Okay. Yep, and that is the signature sandwich. Tell folks how they can sample your food. You can come see us at the Bandera Market. Uh, we're located right outside of 1604 in the Santicos parking lot. And you can also come see us at the Eisenhower Market on Eisenhower Road. And I'm located there as well. Um, <laughs> we are there Wednesday through Sunday. Yeah, and that was, that and that's the one right there. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. That's delicious. <laughs> I know. I have to no, 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 again, no great way to do that, but that was a valiant yeah, effort. That's, right. that's a sloppy eat right there. But it's good. Barbecue. All you have to do is head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right. Spreading joy through mm -hmm. art. That's what one 11 year old girl is all about. Yes, excuse me. No again. Worries. Yes, from paying tribute to shooting victims in Parkland, Florida, to encouraging first responders. During the pandemic, this little girl is all about spreading kindness and joy, and now she's spreading sunshine to Yvalde. Take a look. We always want to spread kindness to change the world because you never know that something that you can do that starts off really small, if you keep making it bigger and bigger, it can really change the world. A.L. Morgan Stern is on a mission to change the world through her art, on chairs she calls sunny seats. I was in Parkland when the tragedy happened and I I wanted to like help. So I painted 17 chairs for the 17 lives that were lost. So I had to ask my mom, can you please get me 17 wooden chairs so I can paint them because I wanted to help out. Morgan Stern was just six years old when the tragic shooting happened in Parkland, Florida. Still, she was inspired to paint these chairs. They have since been on display at different locations throughout Florida. So they were in a lot of places and I really, I was just like, I just wanted to really help out. Did that kind of encourage you to want to keep doing stuff like this? Yes, definitely. I always love to help out and I always love to spread kindness around the whole world. Now, A.L. is gifting a sunny seat to the city of Uvalde. After hearing about the tragedy, she was inspired to paint this bench, which will be delivered to City Hall this week. So, I incorporated my sunny seats that I did for the 17 lives that were lost at the Parkland tragedy, and I incorporated it and I made a sunny bench, and it was to help Uvalde, and I really wanted to spread love and light to their community. Through the darkness, Ayel hopes she can help shine light and love for the city of Uvalde, a city we all continue to embrace in our hearts. I always try and make these posts, but if 
even if not everyone enjoys them, always there's someone in the world that always gets impacted by it or enjoys and like understands it and gets inspired by it. And that inspiration is what Ayel hopes to continue to give to strangers through her art. She also has an Instagram page that you can follow for more positivity she hopes to continue to share with the world. And if you put your heart and soul into doing kind things, then not only will your heart be full, but so will the world's heart. Ayel also made Kepi bands for first responders during the pandemic. So again, her goal is just to continue to spread kindness. Love it. All right, well, if you'd like to follow her on Instagram, just head on over to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just scan that QR code on your screen. All right, still ahead on the show, when life gives you lemons, you call the Lemon Girls, where you can find these lemonade aficionados, and we try some of the different flavors they offer. But first, we're starting a brand new segment to help us all save a little bit of cash. It's Money Saving Monday. This week, it's all about fun things to do around town that won't cost a lot, and a lot of them are even free. It's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, we could all use a little help saving some cash these days. I mean, gas, groceries, I mean, everything is costing, you know, just a little bit more. So today we thought we'd help with a brand new segment. Yes, Money Saving Monday. We have experts looking for different steals, deals, freebies around town, and hacks around the home, all to help our bank account. Sounds good to me. <laughs> yes, all right. This week, our savings educator, Christina, from Saving with Christina is here to reveal some inexpensive and even free ways to have fun this summer around town. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. All right, help us, Christina. Okay, today <laughs> it's all about having fun. And first, we're gonna kind of talk about bowling, right? Absolutely, there is a National Kids Bowl Free program. So pop on over to the kidsbowlfree.com website mm -hmm. where you can register your kiddos ages 2 to 16 Ooh. to get the two nails. free games per week. Okay. And clearly it's fun to join in on that as well. So if parents want to join in with their kiddos, you can actually purchase a family pass for $39.95. It allows up to three adults to bowl along with those kiddos every single weekday. But I noticed in my email literally this morning there was a coupon code July 44 that was offering 44% off that price. So check that website and see if that deal is still going on. All right, we obviously enjoy bowling. <laughs> now, <laughs> on to some indoor fun, right? More indoor fun, uh, the movies. You have yes, some deals. so mm -hmm. lots of free movies this summer. There are indoor and outdoor options. So if you're a huge fan of the air conditioning, check out Santico Theaters. They have free movies at 10 a.m. on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. It is first come, first serve, so make sure you show up early to secure a spot. This week they're doing Kung Fu Panda, but of course, visit their website and you'll see a full list of all the movies they're offering. Um, if you prefer outdoor, so you wanna be outdoor in the evenings with your families, lots of options there as well. Travis Park is offering free movies on Tuesday nights. They're all Marvel themed this year, but free admission, free parking, bring your blanket, bring your lawn chair, bring a picnic, or you can purchase food from the food trucks they have on site. One more to mention, the Tower of the Americas, and this one sounds really cool. You can watch a completely free movie at the base of the tower. The next one is scheduled for August 13th, but that just scratches the surface. If you want a full list of all the free movies going on this summer, check out the Alamo City Moms website, where I have an article of all of the different free movie options. All right, I love all of that. It's like, okay, I've got so many ideas already. So, uh, of course, people love to cool off, and if you don't have a pool, where can you go? Absolutely, it is crazy hot, so people are looking for options to cool off, and our city is amazing. There are so many free public pools around town. 
Check out the San Antonio.gov website to find the closest free public pool to you. Um, I did call them this week. They asked that you wear appropriate swim attire. Don't bring any inflatables. And then they only allow fruit and water at the pool area. Good to know. Yeah. But they also have splash pads and the splash pads are fantastic. Again, on the Alamo Mom City website, there is a list of all the splash pads around town. My son and I tried out the Pearsall Park splash pad, which is fantastic. They have an amazing playground. Um, and this week on Tuesday from 10 to 12, there is a free event with Alamo City Moms and the San Antonio Charter Moms. All right, Love and, it. and last but not least, uh, gym memberships really quickly. Yep. Yes, get so if you're in. interested in mm -hmm. fitness, Planet Fitness is offering free gym memberships, completely free for wow. teenagers ages 14 to 19. So visit the website for details on that. Mm -hmm. Also, San Antonio Sports is doing a family-friendly 5K, again, completely free. Yep. If you do want the race chip time, you can pay $5 and you can get your official time at the finish line. All right, Christina, thank you so, thank much. You so much. Of course, you can find articles from you on Alamo City Moms blog, yes. and of course, our website, Saving with Christina, and you can find a link to that on our website, salive.com. Bet you've never had a waffle cone like this, a bubble waffle cone. We're going to show you how they're made, where you can get them, and what kind of ice cream goes in there. Here's a little hint, Fiona's favorite. And next, put the hot South Texas sun to work for you and your family, why it's important to switch to solar soon, and how one local company can help. It's straight ahead. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, now is the time to invest in solar. Not only is it the height of summer with lots of sunshine to power your home, but it can help protect you against outages and bring down your energy bill. And here with everything you need to know about going solar, our Roofix CEO, Dwayne Charping, and President Daniel Trevino. Welcome, welcome, you guys. Thank you, thanks for having us. All right, there is a lot of sun out there to harness, right? That, that goes without saying. So why is it so urgent to invest in solar right now are tax incentives going away Tell well us. yes it is i mean now's the time to really save you're going to have tax incentives reducing by four percent next year and that's thousands of dollars lost if you don't want to pay the government next year you want to take advantage of these savings this is the only year to do it in Plus, interest rates are to rise. Right. So now's the time to really cut Jump back before and that save happens. that money. Yep. Yes. yes, all yes. right. And Daniel, tell us how for solar can help in this extreme heat. Okay, so extreme heat, mm -hmm. you have an extreme energy bill. Probably your ACs are working right now. I think the AC's on at this building at yeah, the moment, it's, right? It's, it's so I want to showcase <laughs> the historical data of where energy rates have actually increased over time. So there's a chart showing six years and where we're currently paying now around 15 cents, 15 cents a kilowatt hour. Mm -hmm. Right. So just recently, last Sunday, CPS announced a 25% increase. That's a 25% increase from last year. So I was a skeptic, of course, not sure if I was going to do solar or not. But I said, you know what, if I'm going to, you know, I, like my wife says, if you can't just talk about it, you got to be about it. So we put solar on our home. And uh, if I could ask you, what do you think our solar, my solar bill is now? It's, it's reduced quite a bit. But what do you think my CPS bill would be today? With solar, mm, yeah. 50 bucks? Okay, so it? I'm going to show everyone on T. Here's my actual CPS bill <gasps> right here. And last month, I paid $10.89. <gasps> Look at that. So that, that's a 98% that. reduction in my <laughs> CPS bill. Now, of course, I'm financing that system. Now, that system cost finance, if I were to bring it together, is actually half the cost if I didn't go solar at all. Wow. So it's a great, great investment. And of course, Dwayne, Roofix is all it's an all-in-one business with both solar and roof installation. Why is that important? How does it make your business, of course, different from others? Well, we actually make solar look good on the roof. Yeah. You know, as a roofing company, we can remove all those obstacles like pipes, conduits, and we can make it more symmetrical so you don't have a Tetris-looking roof. <laughs> more so, aesthetically pleasing. Absolutely. Yes. And yes. by being a roofer that does solar, we can actually warm both the roof and solar 
every solar job gets the famous roof tune-up so your whole entire roof becomes warrantied by roof fix plus the solar there's no blame game and you're going to be fully protected plus we come out once a year maintain and clean the system for as long as you own your home and we back everything with a lifetime warranty. All right, and before we go, we've got about 30 seconds left. Daniel, yeah. you have a special deal for folks watching right now, We right? do, yes, yeah, absolutely. For SA Live folks viewing right now, the first 20 callers are gonna get a free portable generator with every solar install. So you're not only gonna capitalize on the lifetime warranty and everything else, we have 18 months, no payment options, 0%, it's zero out of pocket. So the you can call now, 210-454-2400, or of course, visit RoofFixSA.com. All right, you're at Daniel and Dwayne, remember, if you call Roof Fix right now, the first 20 callers get a portable generator with your installation of solar. That yes. number is 210-FIX-ROOF. That's 210-349-7663. And for more information, visit their website, RoofFixSA.com. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Good to Thank see you. you. Thank you. All right, still ahead on SA Live, it could be the way we all buy clothes in the future. We meet the owner of a social media boutique and check out a few things she has to offer. And next, a refreshing drink in this heat, it's simply the zest, ha <laughs> ha, where you can get these fresh squeezed lemonades and we check out some of their different flavors and maybe more dad jokes, you don't wanna miss this. Plus, here's a look at what's coming up this week on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, how does a cool glass of lemonade sound in this extreme heat? I know the answer to that. Our next guest is bringing a tropical influence to this classic summertime refreshing drink. Sounds amazing. I already had some, by the way. It's delicious. Maxine Cofino, owner of The Lemon Girls, is here to show us fresh made-to-order drinks. Welcome. Yes, ma'am. Let's get right to it. Let's go squeeze in the lemonade. Okay. So fresh squeeze. All right. Oh, you yeah. guys are going to hold this, this baby I down because this takes yes. some. Okay, right. I've been stretching. All right. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Nice. And the next step, you're going to job, model. Yeah. Uh -huh. right. You want to get it real good and model. Make sure that lemons incorporate into the sugar. Muscle. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. And now the funnest part, we can shake. All right, here we go. You got the oh, these two. All right, here we go. Shake. Shake it up. Okay, and that's the thing, is it's fresh squeezed, right? Oh, and yeah. Do you guys it's do made to order, so you can choose your sugar levels or alternative sugar. So anybody, even if you're diabetic or any uh, like a health mm -hmm. conscious person, you can have a lemonade with us. And what are some of the alternative sugars that you use? We have stevia monk fruit. Okay. Yes. Oh, I love okay. monk fruit. Yes. yes. Very awesome. Good. So we'll talk about the flavors that you brought. All here. right. Amazing. So we're all seasonal, all fresh. Our best sellers: passion fruit. We have strawberry lemonade, uh, strawberry and cream lemonade, a br classic Brazilian, and a blackberry. Okay. So what are the most popular? flavors? The most popular flavor is definitely passion fruit and Brazilian, but all, all of our seasonal stuff is amazing. Passion fruit and Brazilian, and what's in the what's in the, this one? The Brazilian, the Brazilian is a limeade with a little bit of condensed milk uh -huh. and lots of love. It's very creamy, dreamy, tropical, and delicious. This is a serious I mean, refreshing oh yeah. drink. Okay. This is bring your perfect for summer. <laughs> and, and tell me about how the business started. Oh, uh, during COVID lockdowns? Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. We were in our house cooking more at home, and we just decided and I started cooking more and then playing with citrus. And I was missing all my drinks from Puerto Rico mm -hmm. and all the passion fruit lemonade. And so we just started playing and playing. Everybody seemed to love them. And then we decided to jump into a market. And that's when we started up at Dare Market. I love it. So besides these flavors, any others? Yes, we also have house blended uh, teas, uh, a sugar cane juices. Sugar cane yeah. juices? Yeah, it's a seasonal offering, but we take our fresh sugar cane stock and we uh, go into the uh, squeezer and make fresh, it's like tea. It's like nature's tea. So good. Sounds amazing. Now, what's next for you guys in the future? Um, so uh, now we're hoping to uh, secure our brick and mortar soon. We're finalizing, negotiating details, yeah. but coming soon, brick and mortar for us. And then we also are running our own farmer's market in our neighborhood, the 01 Farmer's Market on 702 Donaldson. By Jefferson? By High Jefferson High School. Nice. And you guys even consider yourself amateur gardeners, right? Oh yeah, we're what all are you in. We're, we're growing tomatoes, cucumbers, corn, everything. We took out all of our front yard and we're doing a 45 by 25 front yard garden. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, well, I'm excited to try a little yes. bit more. Do you have a favorite? Is it the- oh, My fried passion fruit. Yeah. Always? That just screams Puerto Rico to me. Okay, mm -hmm. I love it. What's the reaction from folks who try it for the first time? 
they're surprised. They couldn't, they couldn't even imagine that something would be that good. Mostly because they don't know what passion fruit is. We need some more passion fruit stuff. Yes, you said it was available here too. Like yeah, they grow wild here, See? but people don't know what it looks like. We're glad we have you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, well, you can try the Lemon Girls this Wednesday at the 01 Farmers Market right, at Woodlawn Point. They will also be at the Bandera Market, which is right next to the Silverado Theater at Zeke's Barbecue this Saturday and Sunday. For more information, you know what to do. Just head to our website, salive.com. Click on the S scene on SA Live tab. All right, next on SA Live, ice cream, cold drinks, and waffles. Do you need anything else? We check out an ice cream shop bringing some, some delicious treats to the Alamo City. You know what this is? Yeah, that's a waffle cone. Not one we're used to seeing around here. It is a bubble waffle cone, very popular in Asia, but you can get it here on the west side at Kuma, and Billy Ip is the owner of Kuma, so this is something that uh, is very common in Hong Kong, you said, it right? Is. All right. It is. It looks interesting. How do you make it? So, so first of all, you're gonna have to pour the batter on the one half side, the right hand side. Okay, so just on half of this thing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then fill this up like this. Sure. Just pour it. Counter to how I yeah. would do it. So the whole thing? Yeah, go oh, ahead. Okay. Now that's good. Now I've got to start. You're going to the left. Tilt to the left, and then up. And I just, okay. Just this go is to left. More. Up, up. Right. Right. Down. Down. Close it. Close it. Mm -hmm. And then flip turn it. Turn it. Yeah. Okay. And then turn this number to two. To two. So two minutes later. So. Yeah. So what's so special about these uh, these kind of waffles? So the waffle is originally back in Hong Kong in the 1970s on it. Um, it is something that I do eat whenever I was growing up as a kid. Um, not just my age, but for everybody, they would grab it on the side of the street, take mm -hmm. it to work. Um, but then the cool thing about this is, um, you know, you don't have to add any syrups. You don't have to have to, have to add any butter. Because you it. said there's a little bit of sweetness already mm -hmm. in the batter. So it does on it. So it does go really well with the ice cream on it. Um, it's not going to be overly sweet. And inside it is um, soft, and the outside it is crispy. So, so it's not like the waffle cones we're used to, where it's just basically all a crispy no, waffle. No. You've got kind of the good texture. No. In so there. this is going to be something unique, something different on it. Um, the only closest place you get to. It's probably Asia. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, turn it the other way. The, now turn it this way. Oh, which you put on the ledge. And then up. Mm -hmm. Open it. Ta da! Hey, not bad. Now oh. I scrape the edges. Mm -hmm. oh, it's hot. Ah, no kidding. And then flip it on here? Yeah. Okay. There you go. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna Fold it in Along. the middle. Oh, that, that's not a perfect, I get it, just like yeah. that, okay. Mm -hmm. Time to load up with the good stuff. So, your favorite flavor is what? Probably ube. Ube? Yeah, I'm not Filipe. gonna lie. <laughs> I, I know it well, it is Fiona's favorite flavor, so okay. So, one scoop or a lot? One good scoop, you know, make one, it round, make it look good. One good scoop. Mm -hmm. How's that look? That looks good. Pop perfect. that baby in there like that. There you go. Ha ha, ha 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 ha. Perfect. <laughs> And what goes on top then? Um, I would definitely do some green tea pocky. Yeah, mm. Definitely not your ordinary everyday ice cream. Ice cream. Uh, you could put some chocolate jizzle on Oh, there. we're not done yet. Hey, yeah. here we go. Load me up there. There you go. Mm. What do you think? Right. With the waffle? The texture of the cone. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice, it's not the crispy, crunchy cone. Mm -hmm. It is like more of a, a waffle that you, you'd make at home like that. But it goes well with the ice cream on it. It gives it like a nice texture. And it's not overly sweet. That is a great texture. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, this man, yeah, this is not, this is really tasty. Yeah. All right, this is a great little way to have some ice cream on the it. Like yeah. this, a little Asian twist to it. And the waffle is fantastic. You gotta get the ube. It's Fiona's favorite, so. Yeah. Sunday through, uh, seven days a week, Sunday through Saturday, right? Yes, sir. One seven PM? days, um, 1 to 10 p.m., we here. I don't like my job. And of course, for more information on Kuma, just go to salive.com, click on the Ask Scene on SA Live tab, or just scan the QR code in the corner of your screen. You like it? <laughs> I appreciate it.
Next on SA Live, this mother of two turned her dream into reality. You hear how she started her boutique and we check out some of her latest styles. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it might be the way, you know, we all shop for sure in the future, right? This mother of two started her own boutique in an innovative way. Erica Torres, owner of So Chic Boutique, is here to tell us how you can browse her shop. And of course, we're going to show off some of her latest looks. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, Fiona. Yeah. Thank you for having us on here. It's oh. honestly amazing. And I am excited to talk about our newest arrivals. Yes. All right. Let's start with your look because I'm loving this really big pop of color. <laughs> I love, so this is our Barbie pink set. I just love the color, clearly vibrant, summer, and you can do so much with just this one set. You can wear it with denim for fall, a cute booty, or you can just wear a cute blouse and just the shorts. You can get so many outfits out of just this one set. It is comfortable, it is the appropriate length for mom life. The blazer is a little longer fitting, to cover the bum because again mom <laughs> life is real and it's I love the lining of it because it is not your basic just plain white liner it is fun flirty girly and fabulous I love it because I yeah I love seeing that when you like roll it up yep. you know and um, you know the length of the blazer I love that on you because you know you're not that tall yes. right and a lot of people aren't okay yes. and the person and it really does just kind of elongate your legs makes okay? me yes. longer yes all right let's talk about this next look our gorgeous uh, Jackie she is wearing our Malibu Barbie dress I again the pink is everything in my life and I'm here for it it is a linen material it happens it offers a ruffle details and a deep v-neck v line, of course, more feminine. And Jackie, turn around, please, madam. I love the back details, very girly, sexy, gives me Cabo vibes, beach vibes, or just a cute casual dinner date with the husband, and she can work it. I just love this dress. We paired it with our some of our white wedges that can be worn all year long white easy to ch these are very easy and comfortable to chase kids around they are mom approved she's just darling and then this whole look i love it okay and you are a busy mom of two tell yes. us how you got the boutique started well it was it was something that has always been on the back burner i something i wanted to do and then finally mom life two boys craziness and my husband said what about you you don't do anything for you you just take care of us so then he said let's get you started doing something and that's what motivated me to pursue the dream that I had and here we are you've slowly always been into fashion yes I mean Erica here was one of our very first interns so it's a yes. joy to have you back on the show in this way let's finish out real quickly with us with our last model and then of course I have our lovely Christina she is wearing our fabulous floral blouse it is very very feminine, very girly. Again, this one offers a V neckline and you can leave it on the shoulder or drop it down for a more sexy look. Wearing white pants. Now the pants fit her the way they're supposed to fit. When I wore them, they look like bell bonds. <laughs> but she looks fabulous. These can be paired with just about anything. The bubble sleeve, I'm in love with. I love everything that flops, jingles, sparkles, I'm here for it. She looks fabulous. It does offer the button detail, which helps tuck in the mommy tummy sometimes. And she is wearing some of our ivory block wooden heels. They are w a wood block, but it is incredibly light. It is ridiculous how amazing those shoes are and that can be paired with just about anything. All right, and you have a deal for folks watching right now, right? Yes, our deal for the day for all of our uh, SA Live viewers is you get 20% off your entire purchase. Okay. As long as you just DM me saying that you saw us on TV today and you get your discount, girl. All right, for all that information, just head to our website, salive.com. Thank you. Thank you. All right, tomorrow on SA Live, it's a new hotel and restaurant making its mark on San Antonio's culinary scene. We are making summer recipes with their executive chef. Plus, local summer programs for kids to get crafty and creative. All that and more tomorrow at 1, right here.
right, it looks like so far. I mean, I know they're still coming in. It looks yes. like ice cream wine. Yes. You know what else I like? Froyo. Mm -hmm. Froyo. Fro 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 and with all the toppings. A solid there's choice so many different as well. Things. But the lemonade's great as yes. well. So stay many cool and stay safe out there. Mm -hmm. We will see you tomorrow at one.